So we're on day five or day six. Um, everything's been powder dry. I didn't bring wax dirt. We've been using a little bit of salt, but this dry, this, this is what all the trap beds looked like when we dug them in, just powder dry. And even if it froze, that's not gonna freeze because that dry dirt has nothing to, to really freeze. It just stays dry. So what happened last night is it, is it rained all day yesterday, actually and then it freezing rain and then it turned into snow and we got like two to three inches of snow on some of it and then now it's all melted off it's warmed up all the traps are just straight mud and it's gonna be 12 degrees tonight so we're having to remake everything and we've been trying to find dry dirt we found dry dirt under this old log <clears throat> and uh, usually we can find it underneath some buildings but we haven't found a building so we got us a, a log and we're getting some dry dirt That's probably enough. So here's the dirt hole. And look how just sloopy sloppy this is, if that's a word. <laughs> so I just take my finger, because this is gonna freeze tonight. That top half inch on everything is gonna freeze. So I just kind of leave it around the jaws. We've already got that packed in there pretty good. And all the ones we saw this morning nothing was froze down underneath just this top little bit <coughs> so to keep that dinner plate so to speak i mean we were you could take a screwdriver and outline it peel it up and it looked like a dinner plate so we're just going to put dry dirt back on top of them that trap's already packed in really good and as long as we got enough dry dirt this is really light fluffy dry dirt too from underneath that log so it should fire pretty good and that's done we'll kind of leave it i mean you can sprinkle some stuff around real light stuff nothing crazy just to kind of guide his foot make it look a little natural it's not ever going to look natural but we're doing what we can <clears throat> so we've got two sets here and we got two more right here this is this old road bed or a uh, railroad bed <laughs> typically i drive right to this but it's kind of a pain in the butt where we set them. We've got everything kind of in the way, which is ideal. I mean, that's what you want to do with trapping. You want to get in the way. But we're at the end of this turn row here, so see this one's still got some snow on it. A lot of this has melted off, and it's just turned all this dirt that's on top of these traps into soup. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's wet sand. That's going to be the first thing that's going to freeze tonight. I'll just outline this trap, get it all off of there. Basically, you know, if we were gonna leave these in the ground, we only got like two two days left. But if it was gonna be like, you know, another week, they were, we were gonna be here trapping and we were gonna have consistently, un, you know, below freezing temps, I would dig that out and obviously be using wax dirt. But we, did, we basically wanna insulate that trap from the top down and put dry, unfreezable dirt basically on top of it. We don't have access to wax dirt right now, so we're kind of making do. This stuff's really light and fluffy, and it takes very minimal packing, as you can see. Just flatten all that stuff back out and kind of make it look halfway natural. Give him a spot to drop his foot. On to the next. Doesn't take very long. It's just a pain in the butt when you got 180 of them that are in the ground. See how this is real sloppy. You'd probably squeeze water out of that. That'll be the first thing that freezes. But you can see how well that trap is packed in there. And we just dump new back over the top. Ooh. Thank you. 
uh, picking up the square. It'll be all right. Here we go. Is what it is. It's not ideal, but it's what we got to work with. So keep on moving. There, we only got an hour left. 